that, my friends, is an authentic fish taco. And that, my friends, is an authentic fish taco. I think I'm gonna do this more often. Good thing I love donuts. A lot. Monday morning group rides. We'll see how this goes. What's up guys? Just checking in. Eric the Electric and Cyborg right here. Just chilling. What's up? That's downtown SD right there. <laughs> And alrighty folks, so it is Monday right now. I just actually got done enrolling for classes and had a great ride with my coworker this morning. Right now, I am about to start the month of April. I've come to a realization lately that I need to start let's just say nixing certain things out of my life. One of those things is artificial sweeteners. Now, I don't really take in that much of a single source of artificial sweeteners. I take in, I'd say, a decent amount of stevia, but I do use a lot of sugar-free, like syrup, um, different jams and stuff like that, so I'm actually completely not using those anymore, and I am going to be transitioning to more of like an all-sugar diet. That sounds terrible, but it's not really that terrible. I just have a really big sweet tooth and I think that uh, the sooner I start getting all that just artificial crap out of my diet, the better I'm gonna feel. I feel like day to day I have a lot of stomach problems and my bloating is just all over the place. I have really bad gas. Yeah, believe it or not, I have really bad gas. And just, yeah, I just wanna see for the entire month if I'm gonna go on more of like an all sugar diet how I'm gonna feel. Now, sugar-wise, I really just take in uh, sugar in the raw and coconut sugar and agave. I haven't gotten honey in a long time, but those are my main sugar sources. So, um, yeah, I'm just curious to see how things play out. And I'm also gonna be switching things up in the kitchen. I'm gonna shut up now and stop talking and uh, make some food. And for my little sugar experiment, I gotta say that sugar in the raw is definitely my favorite. Don't worry, I eat uh, five to six of these a day, so I'm still getting my fruit in. I will never give up cereal, ever. And now we can let the sugar experiment begin. So guys, obviously I ride a bicycle. Yes, believe it or not, I actually do things other than stuff massive amounts of food in my mouth on this channel. Guys, I love riding road bikes. Road bikes are my thing. I have a lot of cyclists out there that do follow my channel and you guys always ask, what are you wearing when you ride? I always like to show you guys some ride footage and in that ride footage, I'm usually wearing my LEL kit. I am stoked to say that the guys over at LEL sent me over one of their latest bib shorts and the new jersey as well to try out. And guys, I started wearing LEL stuff a long time ago and they make amazing, amazing apparel. It's very high end and it's gonna be something that's very comfortable and very stylish out there on your rides. So it looks like they just came out with their Rincon jersey right here, which is gonna be a black. And then these are the Laguna Sica bibs, which look amazing as well. Alrighty everyone, while well, it is a few days later, I wanted to take a quick minute to highlight the amazing gear that I picked up from LEL Cycling. I love these guys. Now everyone, a common question that I get asked a lot is what am I majoring in college? And I'm a communications major, and one of the things that I find fascinating is the fact that we're constantly bombarded with a bunch of different marketing material, a bunch of different stuff, uh, basically to get us to buy shit all the time. A lot of stuff we need and a lot of stuff we don't need. Regardless, you're on YouTube, you're watching this video, you're watching a ton of other videos, you're gonna get slammed with a bunch of 
stuff on a daily basis about things you should buy. And for myself being a YouTube creator, I get a ton of emails from people asking me to pimp their products and just a bunch of product placements. And I've always, 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 ever since I've started my channel, I've stood behind a solid belief of if I wouldn't pay top dollar for something, if I wouldn't pay just the, the basic price for something, I'm not gonna promote it on my channel. That's just something I've always believed in. I found the guys over at LEL Cycling about a year ago and I bought a pair of their bibs and I was blown away. When you start getting into cycling and you really start putting on miles on the bike, you really start noticing that comfort matters tremendously. And that's just what the guys at LEL provide with their apparel. I picked up the all new Laguna Sica bibs and the Rincon jersey. The Rincon jersey is really, really cool because it has a race cut to it. It's got that really cool low profile collar and also has arrow sleeves as well. The sleeves are what really make this jersey shine. A lot of the jerseys out there have a traditional sleeve finish where it kind of just falls down almost like a t-shirt would, but the race cut makes it really nice and compact to your arms. It's got a tapered cut to it and also has three pockets on the back too, which is really, really nice. Uh, you can actually put your nutrition, you can put your phone, your wallet, your keys in them, all the good stuff. The jersey also has a reflective trim and also has that LEL patch on the pockets as well. I found the same to be the case for the Laguna Sica bibs. It still has that race fit to it. It's also got this mesh design on the actual bib itself in the middle back portion, which is really, really cool because you want to get that breathability when you're out there on your rides. I would say the most important part about all this, everything I've described though, whether it's the jersey of the bibs is the fact that the bibs have a very, very unique pad in them. The pad is so comfortable. That's what we want when we're riding bikes for hours, guys. It's also really unique in the fact that it's designed to wick away all the sweat that builds up so you don't accumulate saddle swords. And saddle swords are really not fun. I'm not gonna babble on too much longer. I just wanna let you guys know how awesome LEL is. They are 100% handcrafted in California. They're local and I really, really love supporting local. And as I said, everybody, if I wouldn't pay top dollar for something, I'm not gonna promote it on my channel. I'm not gonna tell you guys about it because you guys get so much of it on a daily basis. Guys, go check out LEL Cycling. Of course, to save 15%, use Electric 15. Now, I don't get any commission or anything like that. It's to help you guys out, help you guys save. I wanna let you guys know the greatest stuff that's out there, so go check them out, guys. Thanks. You know we had to get fish tacos. I mentioned numerous times before that this stuff is amazing. Pickled carrots are the only carrots I like to eat. And we gotta add a little chipotle mayo. And that, my friends, is an authentic fish taco. Two hours later. Basic, but delicious nonetheless. You can't go wrong with cornflakes, guys. Come on. And just kidding. Uh, much better. I kind of just wanted to touch upon my lifting routine and where I'm at currently with my riding and lifting. I get a lot of questions asking what routine I'm on, what I'm doing, how I structure everything. And while I do have a video up on my second channel, Electric Talks, which I'll include in the description, but my workout routine, I've taken a different approach to training uh, lately. I started day one of Jim Wendler's 531 today and it actually went very, very well. I'm really liking that. Right now, overall, I. I had to really just kind of take a step back and realize that I've just been doing my own shit for the longest time and I need structure. I need to be on an actual program and I feel like, uh, you know, I, I'm just trying new things now and I'm, I'm committed to a, to a strength routine. Uh, now, I do have a big ride coming up in May. It's 142 miles, which I will be training for at the same time, but uh, that's it. It's just one ride, so it's not like I'm going to be competing or anything like that and that's the whole point of all this is that I don't compete and I do all this for fun, as I've mentioned numerous times so uh, you guys just see me riding with with co-workers you see me riding by myself you see me lifting usually by myself but uh, that's pretty much it at the end of the day all this is just a hobby to me after the fail of a deadlift session that I had a few days ago I had to take a step back and just realize that I'm just I haven't really made much progress I mean my deadlift has gone from like 335 for a triple to to 405 for, for a double but uh, other than that like my bench is, everything's increased but it just hasn't really increased I guess at the rate that uh, uh, I'd like. Now that I'm on a structured routine and I'm also on a structured program as well, I think that things are gonna go in the right direction. In case I haven't mentioned it in this video, I'm actually cutting out all artificial sweeteners for the entire month of April, so I'm really excited to see where I go with that. Um, I, I mentioned it in a podcast that I made uh, a few days ago, just the fact that 
my my whole gastrointestinal tract just feels so bloated all the time. I just feel like I'm I'm constantly fatigued. I feel like uh, even though I take in stevia now, it's I still take in a lot of artificial sweeteners, and I'm really curious to see how that affects my overall hunger fullness levels and uh, just my overall and just my overall demeter my performance as well, my frequent urination. Guys, I am tired of pissing eight times a day, I hate it. I actually probably piss like 10 times a day, it's insane. I wake up like three or four times a night to pee and it's just, it's not normal. So everybody, this is a new direction. I'm excited to see where this goes. If you guys enjoyed the video, let me know down in the comments below. Don't forget to follow me on my social media because I do have a contest coming up. I hope you guys like tacos. I certainly do, obviously. Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, you know the drill. Thanks again for watching the video, guys, and Go right away. You don't think I can? Go now? You don't think I can? Uh, no. No, I don't.